What's going on guys, Neil Bauman here with some more tips on mastering mobile. Today we're going to talk about windows and door measurements. We literally were just shooting a video about five minutes prior to this showing how the windows and door measurements were malfunctioning. We went to go do it and worked. So they might have fixed the bug, it was that fast. Um, but I'm going to still show you guys both ways of measuring doors and windows on interior sketches. On exterior sketches, go ahead and watch that one of my exterior videos. I just drop a room and I use boxes to deduct it. Whole nother story, whole nother video. But anyways, on interior, we actually do drop windows and doors. We measure them. There is an awesome toggle feature on here. Let me turn on my screen recording. Hooked up, I click on the little icon on the top. The check mark is there. We're good to go. So let's do this window here. We got a little room. Okay. Make this small. Let me uh, change the height of this too, because we were just doing this earlier. So it's just gonna go to the same measurement if I do it again. So clicking on there, you see the little ruler button in the bottom corner, it is the third icon in. You click that and you can toggle between the width and height. There was an issue that it just seemed to work out of nowhere. Um, we sent them this issue last night, so I don't know if they got to it that fast. They may have, because it's it's, it could have been a simple fix. Anyways, you set to the width, Go here, boom, sets it right to it. You saw that just change to 310. Switch it to the height, 4.3, done. Oh, no way did it do it. Oh, it did it, no <laughs> way. That's so funny. It literally did the malfunction that we stopped the last video for and went back into it. It is not fixed. <laughs> This made this video even better. No, yeah, really, it's perfect now. <laughs> now it's four three, literally on the width, um, and four three on the height. It is, it's right now. The malfunction is it's throwing the height into the width right after. We tried a little workaround, which let's just try this. Let's try doing the height first because I think we tried that one time and I think we had some success. And then I think another time we did not. But I'm gonna show you guys the workaround. I'm just showing you right now. If you're doing it like this and your windows, you get back home and you realize that, you know, you had a three or four by eight window, like it was a tall window and you get home and all of a sudden it's eight by eight, you know, when you go to check your sketch, uh, this is what's going on. So let's start with the height first. See if this workaround works. Four, three. Three, 10. It worked. So that was what was helping us last time, starting with the height and then going to the width. This drives me nuts. So I'm just gonna, what I do is I click on it and I go into the settings in the bottom right corner and I just do everything right there, width and height. This has never, ever steered me wrong, ever. Again, it's not gonna pop up in the top section. It's gonna pop up in there in the, in the actual width measurement. Another little glitch, another workaround. They're working on it, but this is the right information. This is what you want to follow for right now. So height, that's already set to that. It says distal listening. Again, what does act like this window is? Install. Oh, height's not valid. There you go, two, three. Again, pop down in the bottom here, but it did not pop up in the little scroll box here. So same thing, let's see what the door does it. All right, so we're going to width. I'm sure this is actually two six. So, Let's see how it goes. Width. It didn't do anything at all this time. Yeah, measurement. No, oh, there it is. Right. Two eleven. Spaz now. I would just do the same thing here, guys. I would go into the settings in the bottom right corner until they get this fixed. Width, you already know that's gonna be the same. Height, six six. Just go into the settings for now, guys. This is the workaround. Like I said, in about a week or two, this could be fixed. But just as of right now, be aware of this, guys. One more time, one more time. When you click into the door or the window, the ruler in the bottom right corner, this function is not working right now. It might work for you. It hasn't been working for me and a couple of the other guys for the past couple weeks now. 
we all have been going here and going into the settings in the bottom right corner, bam, and doing our measurements here with height, okay? Be on the lookout for these guys. This system does mess up at times, but again, understanding what it is, uh, voicing that concern to ExactMate or voicing or you know typing it over to us, sending an email to us, call us, whatever you want to do, uh, we will get that over to them and they can make those changes because ultimately they want to help us. They want to help the smaller guy now, so which is which is great news for us. So they're going to help us speed up our processes. We just sent them a list of five changes last night and they touched on each one. It was incredible how they, they responded back to us and let us know their thoughts on each change. And it's looking like they all can be done, which is gonna be programmable buttons with your chubby buttons and working within the mobile app. That's the biggest one. And then the second biggest, which we were very proud of and hope this, this comes to fruition, he doesn't see why it could not, is tokenized notes within your Xactimate mobile. So you're gonna be able to write your GLR within the notes section of your tablet so in here you'll have a roof you'll have exterior if you drop a room hopefully that will populate as well and then you can just do voice dictation whenever you're in that area you get back to the truck car whatever it may be hotel pull up your glr the tokens are for those of you who don't know what tokens are make sure you look those up the tokens will be underneath each category and then you just export in the file and all your notes are in there it's it's gonna be voice dictation, I'm sure, so make sure you spell check and check what it says because it says some crazy stuff. So make sure you double check that. But all good stuff coming down the works, guys. And just stay tuned. Like I said, this, this partnership we have with Xactimate and helping them out with changes is only gonna benefit all of us um, making this process and this product a lot more efficient for adjusters. Thanks, guys.